On a scale of Monday to Saturday, how's your day going? Well, it's going all right. I mean, I, I'm not winning tonight at all. Uh, sorry. Can I show off the kitty cat? Yeah, sure. My name's Cookie. This is Cookie. Everyone say hi to Cookie. Sometimes I bring uh, some of Evangeline's plushies. She has like a Jigglypuff and a Pikachu. And if I need a token, I can use that. So like if I have a Merit Lynch for Vintage or Legacy, you know, the 2020 Flying Indestructible Legendary, editor, just make it a Jigglypuff. <laughs> why not? That's great. Oh, man. If I ever come across a token that makes it where a creature taps and doesn't untap during this next untap step, that needs to be a Jigglypuff. You know, sleep. But, but it's, mm -hmm. uh, a friend of mine on Twitter, Ursa Bearwalker, did a proxy of sleep where, you know, the, in the art, it's a bunch of people going. So he drew a Jigglypuff, just going around marking on people like in the show. It's, it's, yeah, just a bit. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't remember which these are, but they're not, they're not Ultra Pros, and I don't think these are my Dragon Shields. Hmm. Yeah. Somewhere in between. On a scale of McDonald's to filet mignon. I suppose. What were you going to say? Um, I don't have any of mine. They're functional. Fair enough. Would you like to roll to see who goes first? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. We can do better than that, Jay. Have you had a chance to see the rock, paper, scissors cards? I, I have last time I played you. Oh yeah, I, I showed it off last time. So, uh, <laughs> well, well, uh, I picked this one. Can I just pick one? That's it. Um, nom, nom. Wait, 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 no, that's a rock! Alright, you get to, you beat me. Alright, oops. Would you like to go first? Sweet. Hmm. I'll keep. Alright. It's you sort of questionable. Oops. <laughs> um, do it, do it. Hi, Glistener Elf. Oh boy. I will see your 1-1. One one. And raise your 1-1. One one. Pass turn. Yep. Or I will call, rather. It's a Delver of Secrets. On my upkeep, I can look at the top card of my deck. I can reveal it. And if it's an instant or sorcery, I can flip it into a free tip. Oh. So the other side is, you know, the the fly, the, the story about the fly. Yeah, that's this guy, the guy that turned himself into a uh, fly. Woo! Yeah, I do. Oh, I'll the graveyard. All right, see if you got me. You can take that. Oh, hi. And I. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, uh, let's return it to your hand. Okay. Snap back. Let's turn. All right. See what we got. Hey. So I revealed disrupting shell, and now I have an insectile aberration. I have the fly. I have a lightning bolt on a stick. <laughs> And then it's kind of force of will, not really, but kind of. Uh, Hiya! Swing three in the air. Yeah. Searching. Pass turn? Searching You're choosing. Yeah. But even then, it doesn't matter because I'm not searching my library. Yeah, so yeah. I was trying to find the I'm going to go out and swing it. Okay. Yep, that'll work. I'm at two in Okay. Uh, I'll fetch. Go down to 19. I would like to get a breeding bowl. Tap. That's something I don't have. I don't have any fetch. I'm <laughs> sorry. I have. My, my land base is the biggest thing that seems worth it. The only blue fetch land that I have is Misty Rainforest. And I will say, you are actually playing against a slightly proxy version of the deck. I have Polluted Delta. If I had gotten the chance to play in the tournament today and couldn't use proxies, they would have been basic islands instead. Just 
But yeah, there's polluted delta in here because I just don't have them in person. I'm looking to pick some up, but uh, it's, a, it's a want, not a need. No, you can't have that. Yeah, your sleeves are really heavy. Oh, sorry. They're also double sleeved, too, so for some of them are. And they feel like they're made of metal. I'll, I'll take that, I guess. Uh, how's about... Hiya! Uh, main 2. Tar Wait, you didn't have the mana. Nice. All right. And then the current price is land, instant, sorcery. So it's a 3 4. Okay. And then pass turn. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I know there's a glistener up in there somewhere. So I'm going to use. Fair enough. Uh oh. And I'm going to scale one. Uh uh, May I? I'm trying to see uh, Spell Pierce. Counter it unless you pay two. Technically you can, but you'd have to tap the ink off to do it, so it wouldn't really do any good. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess it's still a land. Yeah. So, yeah, might as well not. So you can get the two damage in. All right. I want to I love Cathedral War, so I love seeing that. Like, How many do you run in the deck? Don't know ask me. Two? Fair enough. Yes. Do you run any Sylvan Scrying in your list? I don't watch these. Fair enough. I need to pick up some Sylvan Scrying. Yeah, you're right. I need to figure, I need to either get fetches or put more basics in here. Because mm. I need something, some kind of defense against getting blood in Oh, that's fair. Because for some reason everybody has burned a drought. How much is this right now? It's it's still a three four, so it's only six. Mm. Yeah, because we added instant and sorcery, but those were already accounted for. So. Um, Delver. All right, so okay. uh, Delver. Uh, you Pass turn. Pass turn. I'm gonna sneak them around this way. Keep kind of keep them near each other. So if I flip this, then it's lethal next turn. I'm hoping to win by next turn. That's, that's right. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Are you at any infect right now? Are you I'm at four. Because okay. you've hit me with Ink Moth Cathedral two times. So... If you don't have lethal, you can at least hold up a flying blocker. Yes. Okay. All right, what you got? I'm disrupting shell. You knew I had it because I revealed it earlier. So. Oh yeah, I was doing that. Oh, I'm sorry. If you had a larger than life, I think I'd be dead here. Uh, a second larger than life, or a titanic growth or something. Um, yeah. That was the risk. Yeah, this was a... Uh, so I haven't started yet. I'm sorry. No, it's good. What was the rest of your hand, if you don't mind asking? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that I didn't have any blue mana. Yeah, okay. so, uh, I was so wondering if you were mono green. <laughs> everything was... Useless. Oh, so. Sorry, that'll that'll do it. But you might have to get a. Uh, uh, how many blue sources do you run? You said you Most don't have Most of it is, is double. Yeah. Or is, is, so I have breeding pools, four of those. I have okay. two Pendle Havens, which I'm not really sure if I want both of them because I usually want to use them. No more than two, these. but two is two is as high as I'd go. Um, hey, you got how many botanical sanctions? Four. Four? Nice. Okay. <laughs> and they just didn't want to show up for some reason. They were on spike. No, they were not, they were not happy. <laughs> They're Did like all down here. And then I have four ink plants and two cathedrals. Uh, do you want to go to some I have one of these. Uh, it's mostly useless though, so I'm yeah. not really sure. I think I might replace it with one of the uh, ones that you pay a life to tap it for.
Yeah, absolutely. The water log grow. Because it can't make green mana on turn one, it means you can't get a glistener elf or a noble hierarch in turn one. Yeah, and and if I if I it's the only colored thing I have, it's still colorless. So, yeah. Which happened before. I in, uh, why are all my nobles in one spot? That's rude. <laughs> I managed to win a game with um, oops, with uh, no lands because I had two nobles and a board established, and it was very satisfying because the person was like, "I got your, all your lands now. I'm gonna win." And I'm like, ha. they like hit you with stone rain a bunch, and you were just nope. Um, I don't know what they used, them, but they're playing Ponzi, so whatever Ponzi uh, does. I know who that was. <laughs> <laughs> we got a we got a Ponza player here. I used to be that guy, so I have no room to judge. I used to play Bloodbraid into Stone Rain all the time. That's rude. I know, I know. I actually don't know what happened to that deck. I don't know if it got lost or if it got stolen or what, but somehow I ended up losing it. So it watch it just be like somewhere randomly in my house. Just I mean, yeah. Knowing me. Well we were moving um, our stuff from the upstairs apartment to the downstairs apartment. Yeah. Uh, we found a missing deck that had just been gone. Ah. It was in the, uh, one of the closets that's just full of magic stuff. Of course, stuff. of course. It's just a whole bunch of gold boxes. Oh no, oh no. Well, if, if I ever find that again, I will have eight Tarmogoyfs to my name, which is four more than I need. <laughs> nice. Oh dear. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's worth something. I think they're all the modern masters win, so I I like the old border. The I say old border. The modern border. That's just a personal aesthetic preference, that's all. Oh can you take one? Uh would you like to be on the play? Uh, yes. I want to get um Oh, this is almost perfect. And it's, uh, that. it's completely. Intense. I'm trying not to look at your hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter to you, I guess. It it was it had everything except for the most important things, land? which are creatures. Oh, that too. That's important. I guess I guess lands are pretty important too. Technically, lands are more important because you can't really. I mean, if you draw into into lands, yeah. you can only play one for one turn anyway. So. I like to think of infect hands as like recipes. You need to have at least lands, creatures, and pump spells. And if you don't have some combination, if you're missing one ingredient, the whole thing doesn't work. Yeah, it's pretty important. Yeah. I've, I've managed to win mulliganing to four before multiple times and three once, <laughs> but know. that was that was a miracle. Uh, that, my grandma used to say, "You can't bake a cake without flour." Yeah. Yeah. Sort of thing. Well, okay, Master Cutter here. Was, wasn't that a... Let's see, Shredder was the bad guy in, in Ninja Turtles. Was it Cutter? What's the name of the rat? Ninja Turtles, what's the name of the rat? Splinter, not Cutter, Splinter. That's it. Shredder's the villain. Yeah, I remembered that. <laughs> I, I just know the villain's name because we've been calling our uh, our uh, resident rat at the belt. Because uh, they called it Mickey, and they're like, no, that's not threatening enough. That's gotta, right. You gotta give us something that mean. Uh -huh. No, Mickey Mouse! Um, okay, so I'm going to. Mickey Mouse, motherfucker! <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that, Jay. He, That's uh, that. he, he likes to tear stuff up a lot. Uh, so it's pretty unfortunate. Okay. Are, are we We're good to go. Okay. We're gonna shock in a breeding pool. What up? Glistener elf. Hi, Glistener Elf. Alright. Right on time. Right on time. Uh, fetch, shock, we're gonna go to 17 as I get a breeding pool. Hey! I'm gonna play another Delver. A little 1-1. One -one. Ready to turn himself into the fly. Dun dun dun. Which is actually pretty obnoxious because of the fact that, uh... Yeah. I main reason I can win is if I can use my next to get around. Uh, that's true. I was I was saving the stack plate for it, but I wanted to win right now. So oh, no. It's not gonna happen. It's really rude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't wanna die. <laughs> How dare you not even give me a Ha! Hi, Spell Skype. Wait a sec. 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 
Oh, no. It's her turn. I need power. That works. Disrupting Shoal, pitching snapback to counter it. But to be fair, Spell Sky is pretty. Uh, it's pretty good, yeah. yeah no In certain contexts, it's really mean. Yeah, just a lot. Alright. Alright. Spell Pierce. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. Woo! Six, seven, the nine, fly! Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> I like my blue lightning bolt. And also That's the difference We're going to play a Serum Visions. So it's draw a card, scry two. Mm -hmm. uh, draw. Actually, you're right. It's more embarrassing. That could have gone better, I guess. Ha! Three in the air. And uh, lip pass. So you know one of the cards in my hand. Spell curse. Okay. So. Yep. Yep. I would be able to play it. Um, so the thing about Ghosty Prison is you don't have to pay the taxes. I'm playing a really weird deck. So if you haven't played yes. against Delver before, Dalton, Delver. In a past yeah. life, this would have been you. This is a can't attack you. I liked Delver. Oh, yeah. And then it became terrible like three years ago. I can't help myself, man. I have Nimble Mongoose. I can't not play Nimble Mongoose, right? <laughs> is it what? Oh, yeah. Modern Horizons. Oh, weird. Yeah. The goose is loose. The goose is loose. I love it. Figure out. I care what spell pierce does. Oh yeah, since you saw it earlier. Yeah. 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 So if you cast something now, I can counter it. You can either cast into it and just make me use it up, or you can wait till you have one. Yeah, you're good. Alright. I'll live with that. That's fine. I see a 3 3 listener elf. <laughs> It's good. Yeah, it's like when you just need a good card, but you don't have anything specific. No blocks. The original three. All right. My friend. One, two, three. So I got to do the Sesame Street count. One, two, three. <laughs> Let me know when you're done. Oh, I'm done. I, I, I referenced towards you, but Oh, sorry, sorry. Didn't actually say any words. <laughs> uh, fetch shock. We're going to get another greeting pull. There you are. And I do need to shuffle because I'm casting an opt. Scry one, draw a card. You don't have to pay two if you're going to. Well, well. Completely intentional. Didn't matter that I scribed the other two at the bottom because here we are. It happens. It's all good. There's your scry. Hey. All right. Beep. You've been playing long enough where you should have. It's one of those days. <laughs> Just look up to the heavens. I have a lot of playing that. Oh, you bet stuff like that. I'm going to put it on the bottom. And then. That's even worse. <laughs> it's okay. All right. It happens. It happens. You're right. What can you do? Hey! Crying is always an option. Crying is always an Scooping is also an option. Alright, so I, I do need to say, if we were playing non-proxies, this this is a polluted delta, it would have been an island if we were playing a modern delta. So, I'm sorry. But, I don't care. Yeah. I didn't think, but it, it would be just in case. Um, hi, y'all! Three in the air. Well, here's what I will do then.
Uh, main two. Nimble Mongoose. It's a 1-1 one, one with Shroud. If, if I have seven or more cards in my graveyard, it becomes a 3-3. Three, three, which is to say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Effectively 6. So we're almost there. Almost! Uh, pass turn. This is the card he was talking about he didn't know was in modern. It didn't get added through the normal process. Uh, it happens. One of those days. It's Monday. Folks, it's Monday. And we all get a reprieve on Monday. <laughs> Ah, uh, I can't counter that with spell fears. Uh, resolved, yes. Infect versus Delver. You got nibble mongers on the two. Uh, that's true. All right. We're going to fetch, get out. We're weird. Weird magic. Let's go. I like Eagle Flummy. It's one of my favorites. This is me not blaming you one bit. Although, I will admit, I haven't seen that in Simic Infect in a while. Mono well, generally, it wouldn't be here. I just like it because I, th I like the art. And it is awesome. I, honestly, the ability is usually not very useful. Yeah. It's got the Edward Scissorhands thing with the, the super long claws. I'm working on making a little miniature out of wire, and uh, I'm not sure exactly what material I want to use to make the armor. Okay. But I made a, I made a, a, a drawing. I haven't actually gotten to start. I have like a billion projects that I have to do. But soon the school year will be over at least. So if you don't have Noble Hierarch, so like the tier list is Glistener Elf, Blighted Agent, Ink Moth, they're like the Holy Trinity. And then after that, Ink of Plumier is probably the next best to that creature. So if you're going to run another one, Ink of Plumier or Necro Key, that's fine. Those are fine. I had Necro Keys in it originally. This one is only really useful whenever I get Blood Moon out of color. Ah, uh, fair enough. Um, but then it's pretty useful, so... I'm going to go to combat. 1-1, one, 3-2, one, swing for 4. Oh, well, before we go to damage, after blockers, after blocks, I'm going to opt, which will make it 7. So it's scry 1. Bottom. Draw. I 100% forgot that that was a thing. Uh, I might die now. Uh, so now it's minus 2, because it's uh, now it's a 3-3. I put me at three. Whoa, 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 whoa. It, it You didn't four. have that many. <laughs> Wasn't it? Uh, well, it was four, and now it's six. Yes, so I, and I had undid the damage strike. Oh, you together. already undid yeah. it. Oh, okay, so that okay. puts me at three, right? Uh, four, because it would just be six here. Oh, okay. Regardless, I die next turn if I can't kill you right now, which I don't oh. think I can, but, you know, if I can... You know the rules, and so do I. Okay. Um, pass turn. Can you kill me? Well, if I had enough land, maybe, but not sure. I got that, so hey, I have some you land. can work something around spell pierce at least. If it's a one mana spell. Um, so right now we'd be looking at one, two, and then if it's like a scale up, then we'd be looking at seven, right? or uh, yeah, seven. Yeah, but I, but scale up just it wouldn't be enough, would it? One. Okay, so spell pierce would counter it. Wait a minute, I have I have three. Oh, I have three now. Yeah, so because you hit me with listener off mutagenic growth, so if you can deal seven off scale up, then I lose. But can't you counter it? Oh, I have Spell Pierce, but if you place uh, one of them, and then you have two mana floating, then you can counter Spell Pierce. So Spell Pierce is counter it unless you pay two. So if you play a one mana spell, you have two uh, mana left yeah. over. Okay, I just never remember what things. I'm going to put these together in four to green. Okay. Um, uh, okay, and I'm going to scale up. Alright, I'll counter it. 
and then you can pay the Ink Moth Nexus as well. You can use the Ink Moth to count to pay it. Yes. So the one is I got bad news for you. I got a second one. I happens. I'm sorry. It happens. It's all good. That was cool though. You got close. You got really close. Ah! You did what you could. Uh, this this deck is supposed to be the like it's supposed to knock you off your feet. It's supposed to keep you from being able to make your plays. Uh, and it, it can't do that forever. It just has to do it long enough to get twenty damage. That's all. Well, the, I can't really block that much with this because yeah. it's it's really important to me to have a creature available. Right. So it's, it's pretty vulnerable. It's like, Whenever you see a deck running Delta, or for that matter, Nimble, Nimble Mongoose, just operate under the assumption that the deck is trying to like, stagger you for just long enough. It counters your spells, kills your creatures, knocks it, makes you lose your lands just long enough to swing for 20. It's kind of, that's kind of what we do. Yeah. Yeah, no. Woo! This is my first time playing Delver in a I would like to look at what I have in sure. my suggestions. Oh, heck yeah. Absolutely. My, it's, it's in the process of leading. From one infect player to another. I am contractually obligated to love this freaking deck. And everything about it. Every single thing about it. Alright, here we go. So, I, I try to put creatures on the top. Why did Agent? I've done this so many times. One, one of my favorite oh, yeah. in here. I didn't have any in for a while because I didn't know it existed. This is the first deck I ever built. Alright, so Icker Claw would be... Mm, like, it's fine. Honestly, Icker Claw is fine, but I wouldn't run more than one. Um, personally. Yeah. What would you say should go in instead? So, we'll, we'll get to that in just a moment because I, I do see some cards that... So down... You know, creatures, creatures, it's not a creature, but close enough. Pump spells, utility, lands, easy cuts is how I'm sorting them out. That's typically how I like to do it. Uh, Rancor, scale up, uh, larger than life. Mutagenic is fine. I run ground spell personally, but people that run mutagenic, that's, that's a fine choice. It's just not what I normally do is all. I, I usually prefer the bigger pump that you can get from ground spell. I have a ground spell. It, things, things shift around until I try to... I'm try, still trying to figure out what I like, what I want with my ideal deck is. Fair enough. But I want it to, to be good because I want to play it in like a bigger turn than we're going to, which I don't think I'm going to win, but I want to have okay. a chance. So Cathedral of War is usually something that's reserved for Mono Green because Mono Green doesn't have the same options that Blue gives it, so it has to run cards like Cathedral. That's why I mentioned Sylvan Scrying earlier. Uh, they can also run, cro uh, not Crop Rotation, Elvish Reclaimer that can go and get Cathedral. So it's, it, it's probably one of the first things to get cut, but you already have a lot of Blue Green lands going on right now. Do you have the four in cloth? I have, I have four in most yes. Perfect. I want to uh, replace them with the other, with like the, the, the butterfly art. Oh, the tattoo art, right? But, uh, Whatever that's called. Uh, my sideboard is mostly useless at the moment. Okay. Um, Dude, I love me some effects. This has been playing in effect for, before I started playing it. I've been playing in fact since 2011. Holy crap. Oh my goodness, I've been playing this deck for 10 years. <laughs> I feel old. I feel so old. You've been playing this since I was 8 years old. Since crap. <laughs> that makes me feel even older. You stop. You stop right now. <laughs> ah! It's just giving away my age over here. Oh, jeez. Kind of. A little bit. A lot. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Okay. So, my usual inclination is to say, spell scout in the side. Like, one in the main is fine. Any additional ones probably go in the sideboard. Uh, Rancor. 
No more than a one of. Unfortunately, Rancor is probably the weakest card in the deck because it doesn't improve the toughness of the creature, and if they kill it while Rancor is on the stack, it doesn't get to come back. I, I run one. I've, well, actually, no, now I run zero in place of Distortion Strike, which is usually Distortion Strike's better, makes it unblockable. It still gives you the same pump just over the course of two turns, and unblockable is better than trample. So, I. Unless you expect a meta where there's like no removal at all, then yeah. distortion strike really not the case. No, it's not. You're right. We've got Dalton over there running Burn and me running Delver and stupid stuff like that. But yeah. uh, yes. Yes. the only way that I do well is whenever I have protection. Uh, when I need it. Yeah. Um, so this this should be good. We've got the four blossoming defense, and I think I saw three vines. So a fourth vines would be ideal. I've only had three. So Fair enough. I I use these sometimes whenever I'm, I'm gonna need yes. either additional protection or additional unblockable. Whatever. I would strongly recommend Apostle's Blessing over Larger Than Life. Sorcery Speed, 2 mana, same pump as Might, but it gives Trample as well. It's fine, but it's just it's not as good as Apostle's Blessing usually, because that'll keep your creature alive. Mm -hmm. And it and you can cast it off of an ink moth. That's why so many Infect decks run Dismember. It's because you can cast it even if your only land is I have Dismember in here. Fair enough, that's good. Um, Veil somewhere is useful sometimes. Yes! I, sure. I almost put Veil on the main board today. It's it's so good. I didn't, it's so like, I didn't understand like how what exactly it did for so long. It just has it has like so much text on it. It's but it it's, says it's counter target really deck. <laughs> so let me just counter target spell draw a card. Yes. I mean I'm I'm joking. It's not actually counter target deck, but yeah, you're right. It is counter target card. Or black. Wait, well, actually, corner target turn. <laughs> so, pretty much. I would, if it were me, I would replace these larger than lives with one more vines if you can get your hands on it. Ask Chris. Chris probably has another. And then either more mutagenic or groundswell or both. Both are good. Um, they're for different reasons. They shift around to us because I was trying to find something. Yes, Groundswell comes in. I have, in. have two of these guys. You can keep the Cathedral until you get your fetch lands. Eventually, when you get fetch lands, I would recommend putting in Become yeah, a Mint. Brain blue land. There we go. Oh, we have two Flooded Brands and four of the other uh, Pain Lords. So, specifically, um, fetch lands because there's a card called Become Immense. It's a six mana, but actually a one mana pump spell. Plus six, plus six till end of turn. But it has delve, so it only works if you have enough cards in your graveyard. That's why I say fetch lands because they go in your graveyard. I run one. I've seen decks run two. The more fetch lands you have, the better it gets. But if you don't have any, you probably don't need to run any. So this is probably fine without the Become Immense. Yeah. So looking at four, 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 four. I think. Chevy, yep, four. Perfect, perfect. I, I think this is maybe a bit too many, but until you get good replacements, that's fine. That's fine for now. Uh, yeah, run, run some ground spells, and at least 20 lands, at most 21, and you're good. I mean, for, I would run, she says she keeps getting hit by blood. Two is probably fine, but you don't have fetch lands, so yeah. you can't fetch to get it. And in that case, the answer might be yes. But if you had fetch lands, then... Well, if I had fetch lands, then it wouldn't be as much of a problem, because right. I could go get a basic right, right, like, in response to them casting it. The good news is that any green fetch land will do, which means you don't have to get Misty Rainforest or Verdict Catacombs, the expensive ones, you can get the cheaper ones, Windswept Heath and Wooded Foothills. And that might even occasionally let you throw your opponent off. Like, oh, they see a Wooded Foothills and they think it's the wrong deck, because it's the wrong colors. Maybe. Sometimes. Very occasionally. So, a fourth vines if you can get one. Ask Chris. He, I'm sure he has them. From Masters or whatever. Um, at most, one Rancor. At most, one Icry Claw. And, yeah, uh, take out the Largers, put in Groundswell, and Apostle Blessing, and you're good for now. Two, four, <laughs> yeah. 16 land so far. 16 land. Oh, plus the Ink Moth. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, two, four, 16, counting the Ink Moth, right? Because we have, oh, there's the Flooded Grove, but we would ideally take that out because it doesn't make color. It doesn't make green on turn one, is the problem. If you want to make your deck even more defensive, instead of Apostle's Blessing, you can run Spell Pierce, or you can run Peak to take a look at your opponent's hand. Those are some flex slots. You have some options there as to what you want to do. Um, yeah, there you go. So you would take out... 
for, these, what was it that we said we'd take out for ground squad? Uh, larger than life. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna put this And if you have more mutagenic growths and not enough ground swell, you can put those in too. Why are you running for the over your pain line? Bad, because I keep saying I'm taking it out and I haven't. <laughs> If it happens. It's been months. It's been yeah, months. Yeah, but it's my flooded growth, and it's yes. your pain land. Yes. But the pain lands are sitting on my dress. Yes. Babe, yes. <laughs> it happens. We'll get to it eventually. Just put a note on the dresser or something. A little sticky oh, note. Because I, I also I have a green blue turbo fog deck that's on. <gasps> Okay, high five. I ran that back in. Well, I ran band, but I ran that in popper. I basically had the tutelage mill turbo fog deck. <laughs> I'm gonna shake the table if I'm not that careful. Kind of I, that's what I played before I built my deck. Fair enough. I, I definitely don't think this is the right meta for turbo fog, but <laughs> no, it does not do well. <laughs> it didn't do well, but there like like but there's more aggro decks okay, out. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna rewrite so down be, what you said. All right. Because I forgot what you said. Mostly.